Good morning and welcome back to the Convention Centre at Harris Casino in Atlantic City. It might be 10am but it's high noon for these two players. They are shooting at the last chance saloon and whoever shoots best goes through. The loser goes home. It is of course the Kamui WPA sanctioned women's nine ball world championship. It doesn't get any bigger than this. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any bigger than the guy I've got in the booth. Oh, yes. With me for this one is Tony Robles, the Puerto Rican Rocket. Good morning. Good morning, pal. How are you today? Well, I'm truly fired up because by the end of today, we'll know our final four. Oh, that's great. Well, you know, the thing, the thing that's exciting for me about this event, Mark, is I've never done commentary for... A major women's event. It's my first time, and I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it. But more importantly, I'm, I'm getting to experience players that I've never seen or even heard of. And and it's we've I've already done like a number of matches where uh, it's players that I, I never even knew that were around. They, and these are two new players for me as well. But you're very familiar with them. Yeah, I mean we've got from New Zealand. This is the young lady at the table who beat. Way way yesterday, very convincingly as well. Seven two. Denise Wilkins from uh, sorry Wilkinson from New Zealand, and she is up against the very very experienced Japanese young lady Chihiro Kawahara, who had a convincing win herself yesterday against fellow Japanese player Keiko Sone. And just to tell you, it's a race to seven still. It goes to race to nine in the next stage, but this is a race to seven. It's winner breaks, one on the spot, no three-point rule, and there's a 30-second shot clock. <coughs> Denise went to the loser's side after in the Kaplan from Germany, beat her in round one, and she beat Katie Cool 7-2. And then that great win, of course, over Weiwei last night. Chihiro, on the other hand, lost to top American Caroline Powell. One of your friends in round one, Tony, and then bounce back strong against German Tina Vogelmann with the 7 2 win, and then that donut last night against Koko yeah. Sone. So I remember saying to you yesterday, before mm -hmm. you were watching a certain Veronica Ivanovskaya, and mm -hmm. you said you'd never seen a play. You said the same about this New Zealander, and I'd love to know what you think about her very, very soon. Have a little look at her. It's going to be a few nerves, Tony, of course. Of course, it's a TV, TV table match. This might even be her first time here. I have to assume that. Yes, I think it is. And she made such a great shot in the side pocket of two to get to that three, where she was in prime position to get to the four to the five in the corner. Let's see if she rolls this one in with uh, high left, go two rails to the center of the table. Overhit it a bit. Yeah, that's Not been that's been the story, yeah. hasn't it, of this table, Tony, where a lot of players are saying that it's it's uh, very very fast. That's correct, and I think the good thing about here though is she might have attained just enough angle to draw past the side pocket, but even if she ends up below it, she still has a pretty decent shot on the five ball and could potentially play safe if she doesn't like the shot. Beautiful flowing action. Big, big backswing. Nice yes, he stroked it. in. It's going to have to possibly place a cue ball underneath the six here, Mark. Mind that shirt on that nine ball. John <coughs> Lehman, our referee, look, he's right out there. Like oh. a, he was like a whip it out of the tracks then yeah. when he saw her bending over that nine ball there, Tony. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, unfortunately, for Chihiro, she uh, left Denise a shot on the five ball. Oh, wow. Trying to steal a bit on it, maybe. And she's wow. hit it dead straight. Early morning nerves. Yeah, and you can understand it. And trust me, if you fly from New Zealand 
to play in a tournament, you haven't come here to donate money. That's true. You've come here to win it. You notice there how Chihara doesn't get right down on the queue. A bit like you, Tony, actually. You don't get right down on the queue, do you, with your no. chin? Yeah. Are you frightened of wearing your chin out? <laughs> no, not at all. I just didn't want to create that groove that people get after a while. <laughs> yeah, it makes it so hard to shave, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I played like that all my life. It's never really bothered me. Oh, you've played it all your life like that? Mm-hmm. Ah. And still achieved heights. Just shows you we're all unique in one way or another. That's right. There's no right or wrong way, whatever suits you, really. <gasps> How wow. many? And she played a little bit of English on that, Tony. And mm -hmm. we've seen those hit thick I was talking to Kelly Fisher yesterday about it in the booth and she was saying about how much throw of the cue ball so a good point I guess to talk about that Tony so explain to viewers that may not understand what happens on these new cloths take it away Mr. Robert. Well, I mean, we were having this discussion before the match started how one of the players is practicing and they kept they kept aiming the ball the way they normally would when they play on the worn out cloth and kept overcutting it and she kept hitting it the same way over and over but didn't make an adjustment so th what i was explaining to you is let's say you're playing on a brand new cloth since it's sliding it's going to deflect more if you have to pay attention how much more is it deflecting if you're deflecting by about a ball or two width then you have to aim the ball fuller by a ball two Right? And another thing is hitting it softer. If you hit it softer, you're not going to get deflection, really. So you don't have to hit the ball that hard. It's kind of like, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Yeah, let's have a look at this break. Very insightful from Mr. Robles, the fountain of knowledge, of course. In my eyes, no better coach in the business. She has a shot on this one ball. She's just trying to see if she can negotiate the cue ball going past all those balls and coming back because if not, she's going to need to play safe. She's going for it. They're going around the houses here, Tony. Yeah, need to watch for that nine ball. Oh, Very how nice. well she played this. Seven this ball. the seven, though. Yeah, there's more traffic. Yep. It wasn't center city. That was all on its own, that seven yeah. ball in the middle of the table, and she found it unbelievable. <laughs> Negotiated the way through all yeah. the others. She may still have a go at this, though, look. Cue ball naturally coming down towards the three, and she might even get cover if she misses it. Can she miss that seven? I think she can on the way back. No, she can't. Uh, she got away with Whoa. that. <laughs> she got away with that. But me personally, I was surprised she went with with that shot because it was just so. It's just too much traffic. It's rush hour here. <laughs> you know, it's like you, you you're better off playing a safe and, and banking the two ball two rails to the bottom rail, maybe shooting a potential stop shot there. It's like Lower Manhattan down in this corner. Yeah, she's gonna stop it there. Very nicely nice. Nicely played. Kept it simple. I like that. Beautiful. Now is a nine on? Probably not. There's a potential of making it if you hit it hard enough. Yeah, get the nine ball moving. You never know. I would hit this hard to get a nine ball a bit of a lot of movement, not a bit of movement, a lot of movement. <coughs> Struggling with the, the slide there. Missed it by quite some distance. Lovely country, New Zealand. I have family in New Zealand. Oh, that's fine. 
Yeah, it got a little straighter than what she wanted to there. Might have to force it. I prefer to just hit it with nice follow and go two rails and then go between the six and the seven. That's what she's doing. Nice deliberate shot mm -hmm. there. Really well she cued. It? Nope. She nice, it wasn't great. it, Tony? What was that, bud? It was nice. Nice yeah. stroke. Yeah, very nice. Just come off the rail a bit with low right to play the six in the side to go up take uptown and then back downtown for the seven. And just let up on that one slightly. Never really grabbed hold of the cue ball there. Just let it get away from her slightly. Not much. She's still okay, but... I tipped this girl the very first day, Tony, before it started. And then she went and lost her first match, 7-2, and I thought, wow. But she's come back strong. Yeah, she's still in the event. She's still in the hunt. Well, I mean, I think here she needs to follow about maybe three balls with to get straight on the eight or close to it. Nice soft touch here. Oh, yeah, she decided wow. to go with stun follow. I'm surprised. Concentrating again yeah. on the cue ball. Forgot to put the ball. Well, if Phil Capelli is listening now, he'll be absolutely furious with what I just said. Look at that. I had a message from Phil this morning. I know you know him very well. Done a lot for the game. Written lots of books. Very, mm -hmm. very knowledgeable guy. And deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And he said, please, Mark, please do not use the word pot. Pot is only one portion of an overall shot. And he's very right. And I apologize, Mr. Capel. He did say enjoys the chemistry between you and I. Oh, we have we have a blast together doing these events. I enjoy it. And in it goes. So two zero now. She's really just well nicked these. She's stolen these two racks. Yeah, th that's true. Away, and we're going to go away as well just for a couple of minutes. Welcome back to the Kamui WPA sanctioned women's world nine ball championship for 2023. We're here in Harris Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Breaking off 2 0 ahead. Dry break. Just missed that four ball. 
in the corner. One ball went close as well, Tony. Yeah. What do you know? It's about the break of Denise. You've seen it a couple of times. What do you think about it? It's, it's just a matter of hitting that one ball dead square. We The first two days that we watched him play, how many times did we see someone make four or five balls on the break yesterday? Every time they hit that one ball dead square, that corner ball went in as well as three other balls. Yeah, Kelly made four balls on the break three times, mm -hmm. didn't she, during her 7-0 win yesterday. And then we had a five on the break last night in our final match of the night. Little Yuki Hiraguchi. And I believe she scratched after that, right, did she? She didn't win the she rack, yeah. yeah. And we have got some other games going on around the arena. Margaret Fefalova in, is in action on the losers round also in the last chance saloon she's 3-1 up against Kim Witzel Soa is 2-0 up against Ashley Burrows Karen Kaur 2 up against Sylvania Lu Bean Hung 2 up against 9mm Jennifer Beretta and Sarah Rocker is even 1-1 one -one with Ho Yun Chen One American game very strong as well in this event. Caroline Powell is playing the young junior world champion from Puerto Rico that last November. Chinese Taipei girl, Xin Yu Hong. Caroline is one up in that. Uh, Caroline is a veteran. She was ranked number one on the women's tour uh, last year. I don't know if she still is now, but I mean she's been playing such a long time. Very, very experienced. I know her a very long time. Super and character. Yeah, very proud of her. I like I, I like Denise's like nonchalant confident style. I, I like that. It's like, oh, this is a shot. Yeah, I'm supposed to make this. What's very slow interesting up, is how up. Yeah, what's very interesting is how she, she has her head tilted to the yeah. side when she aims. Yeah, plays a lot of snooker as well. And if you look at her stance and such, very snooker-esque. Snooker-esque, is that a word? <laughs> well, it is now. It is now. Nice. Yeah, she hit that perfect speed to come over for the eight. Obviously, right eye dominant. Didn't really See? get a hold of that. <laughs> Having a little smile about it, though. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I love about her style. It's like, uh, all right, I'll make the eat anyway. <laughs> Very laid back. Oh, Ooh. and it's caused her to miss that. Now this is a real chance for Chirihara to get herself on the scoreboard. Authority nicely on this nine ball, then she's going to open her account. She's going to reduce the deficit to just one. Head nice and still, right on the board. And it goes. So, first two rounds we have losers' side matches, and if you lose today. You're going home in the first two rounds, and then we start our qualification prop up. We'll have a redraw after the first two rounds. So we'll be left with 16, and then we'll have just four by the end of play tonight. And today, guys, we have matches at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., and 9 p.m. So down to five matches today. Tomorrow we'll have just three, two semi-finals and a final, and they will all be on this table here. If you want to catch up with any of the other tables, you can go to, to tv.kazoom.com, and they've got a 
nice app there where you can do it all on your phone find out how to register and you can choose your table to watch on the other tables here we go then Chirihara let's see if she hits that one dead square she didn't hit it bad she didn't hit it bad the corner ball still didn't go in It's barely off, away. barely off, yeah. Well, one thing, I don't think we had, we had one dry break on day one. Did we have any yesterday? Maybe a couple. I, w was it yesterday that Amber lost her match, or was it the day before? It was yesterday, wasn't it? The, the, no, the day before, the day before, when she lost on here, that, that we on didn't have hill. a dry she break did, until yeah. the very last hill right. helmet game, yep. right? Yep. Slow up. Don't get on that route. She's all right. Bit of work to do, Tony, though. Needs to put a bit into this. Yeah, she's going to have to stroke this one. Well, she did as well. <laughs> she hit that great. And got dead perfect on that four ball. Very tall girl as well. Mm-hmm. They breed them tall in New Zealand. One of the best rugby teams in the world. The All Blacks, the New Zealand All Blacks. Yeah. I think here she needs to be more or less on the same side of the table where the cue boy is now to shoot the six and the seven in the same pocket. Yeah, this is okay. You can just stroke this in. Nothing to do with the cue boy. It's going to follow its natural path round, as you said. Seven in the same pocket. Oh, she decided to go the other the pocket. Other okay. Yeah, I can see why as well. Yeah. It's nice. She can stroke it in again up for the eight ball off this back rail. But I'm beginning to, to, to notice that she really likes to let that cue, the cue, the her stroke go. Yeah. She likes to move the cue ball. And we're going to see it go here as well just to draw this back is she straight enough can she pinch a bit just to come back down the same side of the table for the nine yeah. oh she came very the nice. other side she had enough to go the other side what mm -hmm. a nice stroke very nice very confident yes, and her best friend here also, Kimberly Cullen, who you might remember, played on this table against Savannah Easton. And it goes 3-1 now. Denise Wilkinson, and we're just going to nip out for a quick minute, guys, and we'll be back with the next rack. Welcome back, guys. Good start for the New Zealander. Three one up against a very, very experienced player, Chihiro Kawahara from Japan, and Denise. Well, that's a great break as well. And if she can get the break working, mm. Tony. Yeah. Kawahara could yeah. be in trouble. Fortunately, she doesn't have a shot on the eight. But you see, look, she hit it basically like a stop shot. Remember, I was saying that yesterday. You don't really need to hit that that hard. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah. The eight ball look just come in front of it now. Do you risk the jump here? 
She's a tall girl. Yeah. She can reach it. Do you risk it or not, or do you push out? I think I like pushing out here. Where to, though, Tony? Pray tell. And, and, and I, I might even consider a kick, but I definitely for a kick. Because when you have a ball in front of the pocket, it's almost impossible to push out anywhere on the table. She's, she's tempted. She's kicking. Oh, she's pushing. That's a strange push out there. Yeah. It was a strange um, push out. Yeah, it was a strange push out there because the thing about that, unless she was trying to make the, the one uh, ball and missed it and tried, you know, th that w would have been a great shot, end up leaving the cue ball where it is for the two ball. Maybe that's what she tried to yeah, do. Yeah, I think you're right, mate. Because the thing with that push out is the four didn't have access to the pocket. So by her moving the balls away, she did. She potentially opened up the pocket for the four. So by leaving her a shot, she's giving her an easier run out, a potential run out. Overhit that, overhit that pretty bad. Nice shot on the one, but she definitely overhit that. Yeah, watching yeah, it. Yeah, she's past. completely on the wrong side of the two ball. She might be better off banking that two ball, two rails, and trying to draw the key ball behind the five. Yeah, just taking her extension. This deserves a little bit more attention, a little bit care and attention, Tony. Mm -hmm. This is a very important shot. Sometimes a good safety is as important, if not more, That's right. you know, than a good shot of pot. I've got to say pot, Tony, yeah, Philip. Right. What else can I say there? Yeah. <laughs> well, she does decide to go to the safety route. She needs to avoid the nine, but it looks like she's going for the shot. No, you yeah, called she, it she right the it, first time. She needs to avoid that nine. It's, it's hit it beautifully. Hit it beautifully. a little bit I think she was trying to get behind the five and it got a lot more reaction than she expected I think but this is a two rail kick here she could make this and then play a nice safety on the three what we like about it is she made sure she hit it with the correct speed to hide the cue ball she, of course she would rather not have left it in wow, front of the pocket what a, Look great at that, shot. what a great shot that was She's certainly got all the shots. Caught that absolutely perfect. Ephraim, Ephraim Reyes would round of applause that one, surely. Yeah. <laughs> See over here, I like tapping it with enough speed so that the cue ball hits the five and have the five ball come off the rail and stop in front of the cue ball. It's a safety shot that I don't see a lot of players. I notice a lot of players don't see. Just a nice soft tap. Get the five ball to come off the rail. See, needed to catch a five a little fuller, a little fuller to have the five come off the rail and stop in front of the cue ball. Yeah, nice, nice call there, Tony. Little smile as she sees well, her friend she, I don't come think she back. hit it. I don't think she hit it full enough. The five ball. She might have to shoot this off the eight in order. If she doesn't have the correct angle to get on the four. Like hit off the rail and then off the eight. I don't know. Can't tell. I don't oh. know if that was a correct shot. I think she could have hit the rail first with the three and go off the eight. That way she has an angle for the cue ball and doesn't have to worry about coming off the five. Got to come up with a safety shot here, maybe very thin and just hide yeah. behind the nine. Yeah, either that or leave the four on the bottom rail and leave the cue ball near the eight. And I love the speed she hit it with because potentially when you're shooting that shot, you're trying to get them, the cue ball near the eight to the point where you're almost forcing them to shoot over the ball. She hit that great. Yeah, beautiful shot. But has she got cover? I don't think she has, you know. I think she might be having a go at this, Tony. I think she's going to have a go at this. Yeah, if she can see it, uh, she can definitely spin it in. Yeah, play this with left-hand English. Spin it in. Or try to go two rails. Ooh, oh, she missed the entire ball. Well, they, there's an example of the throw. Mm -hmm. the, s the deflection, yeah. yeah. She 
she's smiling but it's more of a an embarrassed smile I think than anything else missed it by half an inch Tony But you have to give credit to Chihiro for playing the safe. Yeah, I was having a chat with Mighty Repero this morning from Spain and watching her queuing so well, and she said she's playing great. And, you know, when she gets the chance, she's running out. Her opponents are running out when they get the chance. And she's very happy, even though she's out of the tournament. But she said one area she needs to brush up on is the safety. Because when you're playing at this level, you need to come up with those safeties. It's such a powerful weapon it to is. have in your armory, isn't it? It is. And, you know, the thing that people don't understand about tournaments, both men and women, is that the deeper you get into the tournament, the less mistakes you can afford to make. Because once you get deeper into the tournament where you're getting down nitty-gritty, that's when you're confronting the players that have what I call a complete game. Yeah. A well-rounded game. Absolutely right. There's so many facets to this game. Breaking. Shot making. Safeties. Kicking. Jumping. Mm -hmm. Mental. There's so much. Yeah. You need every single one of them to become a world champion. You just read off Phil Capel's uh, Champions Checklist from one of his books. Did I? <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he, has a, that, that, he has all of that stuff that you mentioned and then some. I believe he has a new book coming out as well very, very soon. So let's have a look around the room, shall we? See what's going on. Not only do we have our Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship going on, we also have the CSI Atlantic City League Championships going on. And there you see, right in the background, look as far as your eyes can see, there's 34 bar box tables there, Predator bar box tables. And there's 350 players from around New Jersey all here playing. And there's Chihira. Deep in thought, focused concentration. Great temperament. And she doesn't mind. She doesn't mind the odd little uh, beverage, Tony, as well. Mm -hmm. I was out with the girls a couple of days before the tournament started. And we had a good laugh. They're really good fun. That's great. But on the table, it's all business. Yeah, well, yeah. No, they're awesome people. They really are. But she hit the one on the opposite side. Oh, look at but the But managed ball. to make three balls on the break, despite the fact that she hit the opposite side. The one went straight in the side, if anything, I think. Yes, there you it go. did. Corner didn't go, but she made in that one rail bank in the side pocket. And we saw some movement on the nine there, Tony, as well. Yeah. But that's the whole thing about, you know, my, my former coach used to tell me, do me a favor. We, when I was breaking really bad at one point in time and he was working with my break, he says, every time you break the balls, I know you're not hitting it dead square, take the cue ball in hand and place it in the center of the table, see if you have a shot. 90% of the time or higher, I had a shot. Uh, what a great yeah. lesson. I see Margaret is here. I know you read out the scores. Did Margaret win? Yeah, she won 7-1, right? Wow, that is a quick win. Started at 10 a.m. It's 10.35, and she's knocked out. Look at that. Look at that. Kim Witzel from Germany <laughs> is out. And look at, listen to this score line. Soa from South Korea, 6 Zero up against Ashley Burrows. Karen Core three zero up. Jennifer Beretta three zero down. Yeah, I feel bad for Jennifer. Jennifer has had some really serious shoulder problems this event, and she's struggling to just maintain her concentration. Constant pain every time she gets down on her shot. Yeah, nothing worse. I like this shot. I like this shot. Well, she's, she's got to go for this in the side pocket. She has a potential uh, built-in safety here, come off the rail, potentially behind the seven, if she fails to pocket. 
the three ball and with automatic position on the four. I thought she had cover on that. Sorry, guys. I took my eyes off to look at somebody in the audience and saw it leaked out. <laughs> See, I, I like coming for the side pocket here because you can let go of the cue ball with high left. Go two rails, pass the side pocket. Has she gone far enough? She is perfect. You can just play a little low on this or she can run it off the rail. I like just a little stunt here, Tony. Mm -hmm. So does she, look, digging down. Yeah, you just want to make sure you leave a slight angle on the six ball. You don't want to end up too straight or straight. Choice is here. Can stun off the back rail. She can run it round with a little bit of left just to mm -hmm. run it round two rails. You know me. I like going towards that ball, so I'm going to hit this with low right to go two rails and go right towards that seven. Even though I know a lot of people like one rail here, I like two rails. Going right towards that ball. Exactly how she's played it, Tony. We've got a game on. It's going to be 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. And it is. We're all square. We're almost halfway there. We'll be back in a couple, guys. Welcome back. Well, John Lehman certainly sprinted that last 10 metres <laughs> to get back in time. <coughs> He's not as young as he used to be. Hmm. Let's see how Chihiro ends up hitting the one ball here, Mark. Last time she hit the one slightly to the right and still managed to make the one ball in the side. the three ball here the wing one and the five ball one rail nope three ball mm -hmm. saviour last ball rolling shot on the one and look at this to get over for the two ball but how is the four I think the four passes a seven Tony and yeah, maybe we can get a better angle on the four look at that the bend on that cue what a great shot that was I think the four goes past the seven. 
Yeah, I think so too. You can see daylight between them, so. Yep, it does. Anywhere really it's a on this two angle ball. Right there. Yeah. Clementine doing her job. She's had her coffee. So even if she got a little straight here, she she could draw back for the four a bit. But she definitely wants an angle on that two ball. Let's see. Well, she's finished absolutely straight. Yeah. Well, l like I said, she can draw back. The, the key here is if you can't get off the rail, you want to draw back to the point where the cue ball is right now so that if you shoot the four, you run into the seven and the six, and the cue ball stops in that area for the five. Yeah, I'd actually like to be between the gap of the middle pocket here mm -hmm. so that you can just cue it nicely, yeah. and that's another angle there, Tony. Yeah, yeah, I, I think she would have been better off with a little more angle just so she can get a little movement on one, one or both balls so that way she creates a pocket. She's got it, I think, yeah, Tony. Yeah, she does. She does. Just nudge into that six ball. And the seven and the six, actually. You don't want to end up on top of the seven, you see? Yeah. That's perfect right there. She needed to hit both because if she would have just ran into the six, the cue ball would have stopped there, and then now she has to shoot over the seven. Just a little bit of work to do still. But this will be the first time she's been in front if she can run these last five balls. Mm, she hit a little harder than what she wanted to. She might have to go three, four rails on the uh, on the seven ball, depending how she landed on the six. Another result to bring you, Ashley Burrows, now out, being beaten by Soa from Korea 7-0 impressive performance there Jennifer Beretta well the shoulder must be getting to her being hung 5-0 up on her Caroline Powell is now 2-2 with Xin Yu Hong the junior world champion from Chinese Taipei Amber Chen 3-2 up over Angeline Tikoelu I'm wondering if she was considering following because she could potentially run into the seven. No, there's no, no way. I kind of like the way she's played that. Yeah, well, that's how I would have played it. Yeah. Thing is, over here, against this table sliding, I'm not quite sure that you can draw it past the side pocket here. That's why I say she might potentially have to end up going four or five, I mean, uh, three or four rails. Potentially five if she hits a bottom rail. Nice stroke here. Look, keep your eyes on the tip of that cue. High left look. Nicely played. Very, is she going to make nice. it? She certainly very is. Very beautiful. See? Four. Four rails. Beautifully played. What a shot that was. Beautiful. Yeah. Complete control. Has to really, really use a nice short punch stroke here. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this to take the lead. Yeah, and for the first time in the match as well. And not a bad time to do it. 4-3 ahead. I wonder what Denise Wilkinson is thinking about. A few people beginning to walk into the arena. Yuki Hiraguchi just left it. She was playing the last game on here last night had a great win and there's a guy you know look there's a, a native new yorker up there henry chan has just gone and sat down in the bleachers tony i know you know henry well yeah he's a good buddy of mine he's an awesome guy photographer too yeah he's taking a picture mm -hmm. now look and look now that young lady there you might remember her, Tony. She played on this table Kimberly yesterday. Cullen, right? Yeah, Kimberly Cullen. I love the tattoo on her neck. 
The dragon. She's awesome. Reminds she's me actually, of Game of Thrones. She's actually a snooker champion of New Zealand, a women's snooker champion. Wow, that's awesome. Had a 91 break in the tournament that she played in last. One of the title. There's that corner ball and the ball banking, the bottom ball banking off the bottom rail to the corner. And a shot on the one, Tony, as well. Look at the three. Bank one rail straight to the corner. Two was trying to go in the side pocket, too. Are you going for this one? Of course you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go past the nine ball and stop more or less where that spot is, slightly past it, so that way I have an angle in the two for the four. Oh, fortunately, she missed it, though. Right, so here's a chance to bounce back for the Kiwi. There's some big prize money on offer here, 148,000 total prize money. First place, the champion will pick up the World Championship trophy and also $30,000. Runner-up gets 20. Third and fourth, 12,000. Fifth through eighth gets six and a half thousand. Ninth through sixteenth, four thousand. Mm -hmm. And seventeenth to twenty third. Twenty third, two thousand. Mm. She didn't get quite what she wanted to there. Yeah, she's going to have to play a safe here, Mark. I don't know if she fancies a bank cross sign. Even if she did, it's not a good angle to get on the four. Looks like she's cutting it. She's cutting it. Oh, she's gone in off. She's scratched. Yeah, I don't think that was a correct shot right there. Yeah, just in the last couple it's of racks. It's a very deep cut right there. She's just started to fall apart a little bit, Tony. your opponent starts playing really well against you it does have a an effect on you of course puts that little bit more pressure on knowing that if you miss your opponent's going to come in and run the balls oh she, she came way there? short there as soon as she hit it i knew she didn't have enough speed on that ball yeah i think i saw a little bit of deceleration there didn't really get through the ball well and that's why she hasn't got a shot. Yeah, she might have to place a cue ball possibly behind the seven and the four ball by the middle diamond, bottom rail. First diamond, middle diamond. I like drawing up to the eight here. No, oh, she's not, though. No, she can't see enough to do that. Oh, she can't. Now I can see now. She potentially behind Whoa, the seven. She I missed. like that she used a nine, too. Question is, did she get her? Boy, oh. I think she did. I think she has. Jump, jump cue for this one. Look at this, Mark. Oh, almost. Yep. Just going through a little bit of a, a sticky patch at the moment. But as we've seen many times, Tony, in the last couple of days, you're never out of it. Very nice. Just enough spin to get past that five ball. Question is, does she have an angle where she can just go one rail or does she have to go back and forth? I think she might be able to hold it there. Some draw. Doesn't need to stroke it hard. Yeah, beautiful played. Beautiful. Looking very confident, doesn't she? She's mm -hmm. playing all the shots now, Tony. Yeah, and the eight ball is off the rail enough to where she can get a thick enough hit to draw past that side pocket to go for the nine ball in the lower right-hand corner pocket. 
I'm not good at maybe lights a little bit more, but it's okay. Draw it back to stand off the side rail, low right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to hit this thick though. We've seen that cue ball being yeah. thrown over to the left a lot. Very nice. Hit it perfectly. Well, what a game we've got coming up for you at 1 p.m. today. Soa from Korea, who's just won 7 0. She's up against Rublin Armit from the Philippines. And we're going to nip out, guys, for just a minute, and we'll see you soon. back and beginning to take control now. Tahira Kahara, 5-3 up, breaking to go on the hill in our first match of five scheduled for you today, guys, on this table. And remember, Soa against Rubelin Armit is coming up 1 p.m. And in the booth for that one, we have a new commentator. Tony will be with Keith Paradise. What a great name. Keith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony's going to experience a bit of paradise. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to be sitting watching. It's going to be a cracker. And then you'll be back at four, right? And then I will be back at four, yes. See if we can grab one of the girls, get one of the girls in the booth with me. I need a bit of paradise as well, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, key here when you're pushing, try to push to like, like right. She's thinking of leaving where the four is. That's really not a bad shot because it's not really easy to play position. Thoughts on that push? I love it. I absolutely love that push because she not only gave her an awkward position to get to the two, but she also placed the four on the bottom rail. So now it makes it that much more difficult given the fact that the three doesn't have uh, uh, access to the top left-hand corner pocket to play position from the three to the four. Yeah, she's giving this back and rightly so, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to. So now the question is, does she have enough room to where she can bank it between the three and the six to go four rails and leave it by the two ball? Or does she plan on going across and sending the cue ball past the eight? That's a little tricky there. You have to make sure you avoid the scratch if you, you do end up doing that. She went for it. Wow, well, she stroked it in. Now has she got a yeah, sight Yeah, I don't think I would have gone for that yeah, because there was really no future there. No. I mean, I understand you feel good enough to make possibly any shot, but you, you have to know when to go offense or defense. This is a super tough shot. Very thin off this two ball. Up behind that five ball. That's mm -hmm. the aim. Oh, wow. it's a How great shot. This is going to be a great shot. Go on behind that five ball. Wow. Well, didn't get cover, I don't think. But what an effort. Just a tad harder yeah and it would have been the perfect safety well 
Oh, beautifully played. And there's the difference that, well, millimetres make. And she's going to be right behind the five, is she? She is. A wry smile. I bet she's not smiling inside, though. Yeah, if you can hit the right-hand side of the three, that's better because you don't want to place it near that four ball and make her earn position. Oh, this is finished yeah. okay for Chirihara. Yeah, this might be the opportunity she needs to get to the hill because it looks good from here. She has just enough angle on that three to come down for the four. Caroline Powell really going strong. 4-2 up now against the young junior world champion, Xing Yu Hong from Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Caroline really is the renaissance girl at the moment. I mean, she's a great player, finished number one. She's always been a great player. She's a very hard worker. I remember talking to her at the US Open in this very building here last... October and she told me she's going to enter every single tournament and she's decided to really go for it. She's yeah. coming back. Watch out girls. And the she has a lot of heart too. Superwoman is coming. Kapow. Love it. Beautifully played. Yeah, I mean that was perfect speed right there. It's almost like ball in hand position there, Mark. She's got stronger as the match has gone on, hasn't she? Young lady from Japan. And confirmation, Jennifer Beretta is out. Beaten 7-0 by Bean Hung. And in Jennifer's defense, she's been suffering she actually turned down a match, I think, on the stream table one day because she wasn't sure that she was going to make it because of the shoulder injury. So we wish her well, and we know she'll be back firing on all cylinders again. Get well, Jennifer. A legend. Absolutely. A legend of the game, isn't she? Absolutely. She's the first no lady I never knew. I first knew in Paul was Jennifer Beretta. I know a lot of people, it's Jeanette Lee, but for me it was Jennifer Beretta. Yeah. So this then to get on the hill. And that she does, in it goes. And things looking desperate now for the girl from New Zealand. But she's had a good run in this tournament and she, she's shown everyone that she can play this game. And she's certainly going to make her competitors sit up and notice her, Tony. She beat Wei Wei yesterday by seven racks to two. Not an easy feat. No, absolutely not. Five two now. Tiku Alu trails. Amber Chen. Of course, she won the Canada Open in Red Deer last year. Amber Chen. Always dangerous competitor. Always. Karen Kaur, her as well, still going. She's coming back. Leads 4-1 against Silviana Lu from Singapore. And earlier on, Fefilova and Soa went through 7-1 and 7-0, respectively. OK, back to this on the hill, breaking Chirihara. Kawahara, Konnichiwa. Five ball in the corner. One in the almost. side. One in the side. Five, five didn't go in. But she uh, made two balls on the break. She got a shot at the two as well. I'm wondering, is there any shot to make the nine here? I'm not sure. That five ball stopped in front of the two. I'm not sure she has it. Yeah, it goes, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes. It goes past the five, no problem. Goes, uh, the cue ball goes past the five, too. That's the most important thing. Because now she can go two rails and play the three in the side.
Oh, she couldn't. She, she. I guess she couldn't avoid the scratch. That's the only explanation for that shot. She probably couldn't avoid the scratch in the corner. She probably had too thick of a head and decided, hey, let me let me play safe here. I'm not going to risk hitting with low right and go two rails the opposite way. Yeah, I don't but you mind see, that. When you see it from that overhead view, it looks like she can avoid the scratch. Over here, I think she needs to try to put her behind the four. Yeah, a little bit short. Yeah, hit it just a hair too thick, I think. Started off promising, took the first two racks. Denise. And then Kawahara began to find the stroke. Yeah. And it's a nice one as well. This is what I call the bind time shot. <laughs> when you have that, that cut where if you try to go one rail, you're going to end up with too much speed. You go and hit it to the left to go two rails. That's what you call a close-up shot, that was, wasn't yeah. it? I turned round, looked at the screen, I thought she was in the booth with us. <laughs> Let's see if she ends up hitting with just enough draw, just enough speed so the cue ball still has a little draw by the time it reaches a two ball. Yep, she did, but she missed the ball. Decelerated, Tony. Yeah. Didn't go through. Yeah, just looking out in the arena and... Uh, Jennifer Brett up on her way back to her hotel room. I'll tell you what I'll do. Fill that bath with ice and jump in it. Have you ever had a nice bath, Tony? No. Never had one. I just saw a Jasmine Ocean's video that she posted on social media. Ooh, overcut there. Given the fact that the three is uh, in a pretty well, no, three is three is makeable. Three is makeable. I'm be surprised she goes for the nine, right? I thought Starbucks were making a lot of money. They're still using their Christmas cups. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit tight of them, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're trying to get rid of all of yeah. them anyway. Side pocket, two rails here. Did she hit it with enough speed? Perfect. Looks like she did. question is, does she have enough angle to get on the straighter side of the four? If not that she can potentially end up shooting four rails to get five in the side. And she seems comfortable with that inside spin coming around the table, right, Mark? Yeah, she's she's just going to draw this stunned draw over. Great stroke she's got. We're going to see it again here. Well, oh, wow. Maybe just trying to nick a little bit on the pocket. So, come on, Denise. Here's a chance. Make it 6-4. Break and run the next one. 6-5. Put some pressure back on Kawahara. You never know. You never know. We've seen things happen this tournament. Whoa. You always, when you're playing on the brand new cloth, you want to stun that shot. You never want to hit it with follow because that ball would just try to slide. Or it will slide and it will try to continue rolling forward. Yeah, and I just want to say something. In Den Denise Wilkinson's defense. I watched her play yesterday. Oh, that was a bit unlucky. I have the combination there, Mark. <laughs> watched her play yesterday, and this girl can play, trust me. She hasn't shown her best form in this particular match, but believe yeah. me, she can play. And as you say, Tony, the combo is on. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that she can play. I mean, look she's, look how she hit that combo with authority. She didn't even have to hit it that hard. Beautiful. Controlled the five. I said earlier, the New Zealand team are the All Blacks. It's all about the black here. Wow. Wow. And, you know, she's hit that way too hard. I don't know why she's hit it that hard. Maybe a little bit of tension, a little bit of adrenaline. But trust me when I say you're going to see a lot more of this girl in the future. And this for the win, Mark. Yes, and don't forget Rublin Armit is next up. Ex-World Temple Champion 2010, I believe it was. She is up against the really, really entertaining Korean 
Soa. That's coming up at 1 p.m. local time. In it goes. Kawahara wins the match, shakes the hand of Denise Wilkinson. Well played, both girls. We'll see you at 1 p.m. Tony Robles will be here with Keith Paradise. I'm going to be in Paradise in the Bleachers. See you soon, guys. Thank you.